Earlier this month, we told you about a ballot proposal to build new schools in the Platte County School District. This morning, we want to spend a little bit more time on both sides of that issue. And 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan gets us started with views from a group rallying against this proposal. Charlie, why don't want, they want this passed? Well, so this group is called Build South, and Taylor, what they don't like about this proposal is it doesn't call for building a high school on the south side of the district, on land the district owns behind this road closed sign. The proposal going to voters in April calls for building a middle school behind me, but not that high school. It does call for rebuilding the current high school up north in Platte City. This map helps illustrate the issue. The Platte County School District is based in Platte City, where the only high school is located, but the boundaries stretch south of Berry Road into Kansas City, Missouri. This is where Libby Pierce and her family bought a house in 2014. You want to be able to put down some roots, yeah. you know, and, and stay and invest in your friends and your neighbors and your community. Her oldest is a third grader in the district, and Pierce worries this ballot proposal will push back any hope of building a high school in the south by the time her daughter becomes a freshman, which will then result in a 14 mile highway commute to high school. When I saw the ballot proposal back in December, I was incredulous because they are completely rebuilding the high school in Platte City and there's still no mention, no plans for a South High School. This part of the building. Earlier this month, the superintendent told me the district has intentions of building a high school in the South. He said it'd be irresponsible to pinpoint a date because supporting a new high school depends on so many factors like student enrollment and the size of the tax base. He pointed out the new middle school in this ballot proposal and other developments within the district boundaries like a soccer complex Kansas City, Missouri just approved all help push the district toward a second high that is the type of kickstart that is necessary uh, for uh, for us to have some more growth and development on the south end of the district that would justify a second high school. So the proposal going to voters on April 6th asked to issue a no tax increase bond to accomplish four things. Build that middle school in the south, renovate the two existing schools in the south, begin phase one of rebuilding the only high school up in Platte City, and make district-wide security upgrades. Pierce will be voting no. And we're not trying to be divisive. No, no, no. That's not our goal. We are not trying to stifle progress okay. in the school district either. We just want to make sure that the, that progress is headed in the right direction. Gotcha. Here are some key dates to put on your calendar if you're following along with this story. March 31st, the district will hold a information session on the ballot question. That is a virtual session taking place online. And then on April 6th, Taylor, is the actual election day when voters will decide this question. So. Charlie, it's an, a no tax situation, no tax increase situation they're describing there. So if voters do say yes and approve right. this next month, how does the district get the money for that new high school when it comes to that point? So the district says it would have to pay back this bond, pay back this loan before it can ask for another loan to, get, to pay for that high school when it gets to that point. But they say they've got a history of paying back their loans early and the tax base is growing so they could have even more collateral to put forward for a loan uh, sooner rather than later when it gets to that point. All right, well, no soon. Charlie Keegan reporting live for us this morning up there in Platte. Charlie, thank you very much.